Devi Leila Sari, journalist from Indonesia, came to Serbia in order to make a report Muslim traveler about the Muslim life in different countries. Leila was been with her team in Belgrade and Novi Pazar. In Belgrade, she visited Bayraklin Mosque, where she interviewed the Mufti of Serbia, Muhammad Yusuf Spahic, and after that, she gave the interview for GMS Radio, which you can listen in Saturday, the 2nd of May, on 9 a.m., 3, 6, and 11 p.m. Listen to your GMS Radio. Well, first of all, can you represent yourself to our listeners, tell something more about the program that you're making yeah. and uh, about how you choose to come to Serbia, yeah. actually. And then we are going to ask another question. Okay. My name is Dewi Laila Sari and I'm a journalist from uh, Indonesian, nation, Indonesian television. I came here with my camera person, Adrian Zakari, and uh, Serbia... Uh, and we are covering about uh, Muslim people in the in some countries. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we went to France, and then second, we went to Netherlands. And uh, Serbia is the third country we visiting. We are visiting. Uh, what are your plans for the future? And we, we uh, what is the kind of program that you are making actually? Yeah. Is that um, um, everyday life of Muslims or something more like? Yeah, it is uh, actually for our Ramadan program. Uh, Sorry, yeah. I have to see what is. Yes, yeah. everything is okay. Okay, uh, we are making uh, like a documentary for our Ramadan program. It is called Muslim Traveler. Mm -hmm. So the idea is the reporter going to some places where there's Muslim living mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. and then we will covering what uh, about their lives there mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. country. So it will be it will be aired uh, during Ramadan uh, this year. Around, I think, June. Yeah? Uh, in which towns you were in Serbia? <clears throat> Is it only Belgrade or some? Uh, we some were, we came here last Tuesday, I think, in April twenty one. We went to Novi Pazar for three days and covering about uh, Muslim life there. Mm -hmm. uh, we went. We met some Mus young Muslim people there. Mm -hmm. And also the, uh, uh, what we call it, the Turkish Empire heritage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there. And then we went to, uh, we, we came here to Belgrade and uh, also interviewed some Muslim uh, people here. Mostly uh, there is a Indonesian guy, Muslim mm -hmm. guy living here and uh, build, not building, in, uh, he's running his own restaurant. His name is Agus Susetiu. Yeah. Um, and when are what are your plans for the future? Where are you going to go after the Belgrade? Uh, <clears throat> for me and Adrian, mm -hmm. uh, for our team, after this is our last day mm -hmm. in in Belgrade. Then tomorrow night we will going back to Indonesia. Yeah, Indonesia. But we have other teams also uh, also doing the same thing like mm -hmm. us, making a documentary. But they they are going to United States, mm -hmm. Poland. Poland, Korea, Japan, uh, England, England, and Russia. Mm, but for and, us, this is our last uh, country. On which way are you using <clears throat> Islamic subjects in media in Malaysia? How there are Islamic subjects? I, uh, in this, you are talking to me, and I'm thinking about it like it's the very um, common. Yeah. Common subject. Yeah, it is a common subject, and maybe also uh, our viewers liked it because the majority of Muslim uh, audiences, uh, the audiences in Indonesia are Muslims because we have maybe ninety percent Muslims. Yeah. So they you liked know to know uh, about Muslim. There is a proximity, proximity. Uh, there's proximity with them because mm -hmm. uh, they tend to know about how other Muslims live in other countries. Mm -hmm. 
And for, for to be honest, we choose France because there was Charlie Hebdo accidents a few months ago, mm-hmm. and yeah. we wanted to we want to know what's uh, what's going on there now and how the Muslim people lives there. And I still felt the tension in Paris because when I went there and people in the train was looking at me like, uh, okay, <laughs> they're not really too friendly. But in Marseille, the other part of France with the uh, Muslim has 40% of populations there, the tensions yeah, is yeah, lower yeah, and they, yeah. they uh, uh, moderate, they, they, they are more friendly to me, which I'm wearing hijab. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> but in Netherlands, in Belgium, I didn't feel the tension at all. They're really friendly to me. Uh, and then how did you felt in Serbia? I felt very actually this is yeah or to be honest why I why we are interested in Serbia because uh, because the the historical background in the nineties yeah. where there was war here between the between ethnics yeah. and uh, I felt I felt uh, no few puzzles. I, I was surprised because in Novi Pazar people are very friendly, very friendly. Even though I didn't, I didn't say something to them, but they just came to us and say, "Hi, how are you? Where you come from?" And they're like, "Wow, they are very friendly." Then uh, I was a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know what will be going on here in Belgrade because the Muslim only three yeah. percent. But I came here and yeah, people not. Uh, People not smile as much as in Novi Pazar, but they they also nice. When I ask, can I uh, smile? They smiled back. And then I also interview uh, some uh, Muslim people live in Belgrade. They said that uh, here uh, uh, here uh, they don't feel much challenge from the Christian society yeah. here. They can live peacefully. Yeah. And even I. Uh, I interviewed the Indonesian Muslim who married with the Serbian woman, which also uh, who's also Islam, and I, I talked to, I talked to her father, which is uh, a taste, and he's very nice, and he took me, he took us, me and camera persons to have to 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 see around Belgrade, and he drove us to everywhere we go, even yeah. though he's a taste. A taste and did you expect at that kind of uh, treatment in Serbia? I, I didn't think I will feel that <laughs> experience, but he's very nice. And I said, like, um, uh, but you, you know, are you Muslim or no? I'm I taste and I don't, I'm fine with that. And and <laughs> he's very nice to us. And I also talked to the Muslim Indonesian Muslim guy. I said, How is your, how is your um, uh, father in law? He's very nice, very nice to me, even though I'm Muslim and from Indonesia. Oh, okay. So I think, I don't know, but uh, maybe I, I talked to uh, Imam uh, Yusuf Pahic. Maybe there's there's some several problems uh, regarding Islam, uh, like the funeral, then Islamic school, yeah, yeah. you need to manage. Yeah. But more, I think, mostly here already getting better the situations. Yes, of course. Yeah. And uh, have you spoken with some Serbian Muslims in Belgrade, except the Imam? Mm-hmm. Someone like uh, that? How, are your, how is your experience with that? Uh, not much, because we didn't have much time. So I just met with uh, uh, some Indonesian Muslim in, at the Indonesian embassy. Uh, maybe around 10 people. And they said they, are, they feel very comfortable living here. And uh, we love you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're very comfortable living here. Uh, they they said that uh, when we when they came to to Belgrade at the first times, they they thought that they might see people will hate them as Muslims, and they will have they will difficult it will be difficult for them to find uh, halal foods or uh, praying but they said it's fine because they can come in here in ramadan to like bar by rock by mosque play, you know? yeah by rockly mosque and find some good foods and they yeah. can pray together yeah. any nationality and they yeah. said it finds and i met uh, the 
the beauty of the difference you can see here in yeah, the mosque. Yeah, yeah. When you come in Ramadan. Yeah, and then uh, I also uh, talked to the Indonesian Muslim guy uh, who married with the Serbian yeah. wo woman, and uh, they also. They also say the good things. Maybe uh, the guys, the Indonesian guy, a little bit uh, worry, still a little bit worry because uh, he used to live in Indonesia where majority are Muslims, but here not. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little bit worried, but he said uh, not as frightening as he thought before. Uh, and what are the big differences? Because I think that there probably are many differences between yeah. for example muslims in Mal being muslims in malaysia yeah. uh, in I'm indonesia. Sorry, indonesia or being muslims here in serbia everything's there and easy for us you know like wearing hijab like maybe third maybe 50 percent of indonesians wearing hijab so you yeah. don't feel different and people you don't you never have this look like you know, people mm -hmm. staring at mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. like you're a stranger. But here, if you're wearing hijab, maybe people will say like, uh, who are you? What are you? And what you're wearing, you know? But we will, we don't feel that. And in Indonesia, we don't have to go to halal shop to buy the meat. But here, you really have to know, do you have halal uh, <laughs> products? You really have to check. And then um, if you want to go to the mosque, Every uh, two hundred, uh, every five hundred meters, you can find mosque in Indonesia. So anytime you want to pray, you just uh, okay. I want to pray. Just maybe in the next hundred meters, you will find mosque. But here, if you want to go to the moon, you have to go to certain yeah. place, and you really have to count your time. So yeah, yeah something yeah, like that. Uh, and about uh, uh, people acting, you know, in, in how. How they treat you, how they treat them, between how they feel like a Muslims, yeah. what uh, it uh, means to them to be Muslims. Is yeah. there any differences? I think that probably there is also differences. Uh, when I say, for example, for yeah. myself, yeah. I'm Muslim. Yeah. Did you so? But I don't know how 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 many speakers did you have from this uh, uh, place, from Belgrade or from you know mm -hmm. uh, Serbian Muslims. Yeah. And what's uh, the difference? Yeah. Uh, between uh, Serbian Muslims and Indonesian Muslims. When Ser ah, and some of them from Serbia. In my opinion yeah, or yeah, what I found opinion, out. Um, I didn't feel any difference. <laughs> no, I didn't feel any difference. Uh, maybe there is a little in Serbians and uh, I didn't feel that, but uh, but I, the way the way uh, you dressed up, um, I think that's the same. Uh, uh, but maybe I feel that when you see me, uh, which is wearing hijab, and then the the Serbian Muslim will uh, like seeing their sisters, like hi, where you come from? You know, I don't know, but uh, more friendly. And um, uh, we say hello one to another here, but in Indonesia, because uh, we know like it's easy, really easy to find Muslims uh, on the street. So we didn't. Hi, salam alaikum. But here uh, we do that. And I think uh, it's nice. Yeah. Thank you. That would be it. <laughs> Thank you very much for this conversation. Yeah. Me too.